up, people? This is Nightmare Baller One here, and I am not alone for this video. I have two of my good friends. Well, good friends. well, when you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death, it's always a good idea to bring peeps with you. Uh, and I'm I'm dragged along for this shit. In case you can't tell, I'm an extremely southern redneck, C dude, ninety five ninety. And, that and I actually care about subs, Honor Hammer twenty six. I actually care about subs. But uh, yeah, we actually sat through. Evolve one, and um, suffered through. Yeah, oh, suffered God. through. And uh, I think I think Ken Don said it best when he said this company is going to evolve into a piece of crap. <laughs> so, so yeah, where, where you guys want to start? Um, the segments. I don't know. I don't. I guess we're going to talk about the whole thing once we talk about everything first. At first, I thought we might be able to scrunch this down 11 minutes, but this some bitch might end up being three parts. Uh, but anyways, there are these, and I'm going to put in quotes, segments. <laughs> I wonder if you can really call them that. On this okay. show. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I don't know what they were attempting with here. There are easier ways to try to make it seem like you're covering a sport than... Oh, well, it reminded me a lot of the real world, the show on MTV, because they try to be real with these segments, and they came off so stupid. Oh. They were sitting in... They even had the chair with the dark screen behind them and all oh. that. All right, no, we can get to that one. We have oh. to, we're going we're gonna to do this shit in order. Okay. As y'all can see in the description... <laughs> <laughs> Although right now where I have it, I I forgot one of them, but we'll get to that when it's time. But number one, the camera crew is punked by, by Davy Richards. Tony Cozina uh, has some kick pads. And Kyle O'Reilly's kicking them. And there's a camera filming this. And then Davey walks up to him and dickishly says, gets out of here. And then Tony Cozina walks up and says, y'all need to get out of here. And, and they leave. Sucked. And, yeah, it was stuff. I guess, I, I guess it was, I guess Davey's a dick, but he never acted like a dick in the match. But. The d Devolve debut! Came across by Davey! Next thing we got was uh, Kota Ibushi and uh, Michael Noazawa. Is that his name? Nakazawa. 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 Well, I can't help it since Lenny Leonard, every time I'm trying to say his name, fucked it up. Nakagawa, well, Nakadana, Nakadana. Yeah, I'll get to the mic. The, yeah, the mic. We'll get there, right. though. Yeah, we'll get to that, too. Yeah. Anyways, they were speaking to each other. And I don't know if you're aware, but these two guys are from Japan. With no subtitles. <laughs> and, and and no Japanese words that most of us know, like no arigato it, was said. This this would be fine if this was 10 seconds. 45 seconds. Yes. Guys talking. At least, yeah. Japanese. Then With we got... No idea what they were saying at all. Then we got... MTV Real Worlds Evolve, where you had a bunch of dudes explaining why they wrestled. Why they wrestled. One guy said he didn't do this, he would be dead. And Brad guy, Allen does it for his mother. He apparently. does it for his mama. Uh, Jimmy Jacobs don't even remember. G the Real World Rawways, the worst season of the Real World ever. Yeah. Uh, it was the same shot, you know, black. Background, real close on the face and head, and I don't know what are they doing. I mean, watch Sports Center. Look how they interview really. people. If you're gonna do this thing where it's like a sport, go do that. Don't don't. It's felt more like trying to be a reality TV show. Anyway. I bet when it's that. You know, y'all yeah, yeah, want to just do all the segments right now, or just like, yes, because yes. oh, Let's, okay, yeah. some some matches happened, and then <laughs> Jimmy Jacobs and Silas Young, well, or, or should we say, no, he hasn't come out yet, because that's it's not oh, yeah. time for the match yet. Oh God! Uh -oh. But but Jimmy Jacobs and Silas Young 
and talked about how some girlfriend's man OD'd on drugs and Jimmy Jacobs was just laughing at it. Dark humor! Ha ha ha! But, uh, then this guy named Adam Cole, have y'all ever heard of him? I've never heard of him before. I've never he wrestled uh, on the pre show for Open the Freedom Fight. Is the only way you would recognize him. All right. But anyways, yeah, he comes. probably wouldn't even recognize him there, honestly. Anyways, he, he comes up and tries to get in on the spiritual conversation. And Jim Jacobs is like, I'm the veteran. Get the fuck out. And he With his Marlboros suplex. I mean, yeah, his Marlboros. His Marlboros. He's smoking. This show's not PG because he has a cigarette. It was so boring. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the addition there, Eric. But but at least we had no music this time. No mu- oh, yeah. Some of these had music, didn't they? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, after that. Adam Cole got his real world segment separated. With Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> no, no, he got his real world segment separated. Remember, they did the black curtain thing first, and then there were some more matches, and then you see a shot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then you see a uh, shot of him and Dreamer talking in front of no, window, and, and, and he's and he's narrating. And he's narrating this. They're in footage. Uh, of them talking it's like this out of body narration of like I think I had a real turning point when I sought the advice of Tommy Dreamer Tommy Dreamer he's been in the business for so long and I think he can teach me all sorts of interesting things I I guess Adam Cole's gonna be the guy (laughs) I mean but he didn't do anything whatever anyways he's just some geek who's trying to get to evolve which is probably the lowest form of indie geek you could be Trying to get to evolve. Whatever. Oh. Anyways, the next one. Spoiler alert. TJ Perkins loses match. And it's emo about it. And some blonde chick is standing next to him. Talking to him. Not and talking to him. stage interviewer, I think she has to be. I don't know her name. She's got short blonde hair. They, oh, and, and, they, and they, never, they never say her name. No. We see this chick throughout the night, and they never say her never name. Never say her name. Uh, but she, you see her talking to T.J. Perkins. Don't hear her. All you do is see her whip up at the camera guy and say, I told you to go find Silas. But and the camera guy... smiling about something. Yeah, and then uh, after that, the camera crew poked their head through the door of Davy's dressing room. <laughs> Like off to the court, like he tried to hide, and like, like, a, like he was like, "Oh, we're sneaking into Davy. This is footage we had to risk our lives to get you, just to see him kick some kick pads. pads, and not even look pads. at the cameras once." So of course, came off so of course. Uh, then we had more Japanese talking, but this time it was 15 seconds. I'm cool with that. Just, yeah, it, I, I don't mind that. I don't. Better than the first one. Better than the first one. Then, the end of the show. These. Okay, actually, the whole show, there's been this fat guy, these two fat guys hanging around, Johnny Gargano, like the whole show, and then... And they look familiar. If you guys seen the show and y'all know, you know, leave it in the comments. But... Uh, these fat guys are. But they're all, like, going out with Gargano and Jimmy Jacobs. They're like, we're going to party. Yeah, one's wearing a tap out t-shirt. Yeah, I'm sure that's a descriptive element there, Eric. But, uh, He's bald. That's all I remember from him. I'm sure there are plenty of bald dudes that have tap-out shirts. But, anyways, two fat guys and Johnny Gargano and Jimmy Jacobs, and they're all leaving the the building. And they're like, yeah, we're going to go party. And then they see Silas Young. He's standing in the like, Come on. He's standing in Come the on, son. Thing, thing number one. He's who the fuck stands in the corner outside in the dark, not even smoking or talking on the phone, just standing there. He's standing there. He's so standing the there. Later. Oh, quit spoiling. Anyways. They can there. see it in the description box. God, they can have they I know. Life. They can see it in the description box, Eric. But we ain't talking about that yet. But anyways. 
they try to get Silas to come party. And Silas is like, nah, man, I don't do it anymore. And then the fat guy's He's like, like, come on, you're such a party but animal, but Silas. But the fat guy's like, but you really got to come. And Silas is like, hey. all right. But before, I'll go. <laughs> but before Silas can leave, he gets a phone call. And then the screen goes to black. I guess on Evolve 2, you know who the fuck called him. But it, it's, yeah. Uh, but, uh. I, th- I think he said it was his wife or something like that. And the, uh, Yeah, and oh, then they no, blacked out the number. But yeah. I don't know, but whatever. Anyway. It, it doesn't matter. It, it was poorly matter. done. That was yeah, the, and, the end of the show was that. It's kind of weird. And, and, and then how, how are we supposed to know Silas Young is some kind of party animal? 